Hi Aquarius, how are you? This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's go ahead and see what's the energy coming in for Aquarius watching this video. willpower so some of you guys are going to be um, maintaining your boundaries is what I'm here look I cannot make this up here's boundaries yes something about maintaining your boundaries I feel like if people have been testing you there could be a situation that has been testing you I feel like you are firmly needing to protect yourself protect your energy um, one more card for Aquarius. What else does Aquarius need to see? Yeah, because I feel like there are people around that are just trying to drain your prana, your life force. And I feel like you're being instructed to cleanse your energy. Um, I don't know, if, especially if some of you are readers for you to cleanse your energy. Um, cleanse your space as well. What else we have here? Happiness. You have happiness coming in for you. That's beautiful, Aquarius. So I feel like just continue to maintain your strength and your courage because it's like what you've been wanting to manifest that'll bring you happiness is right around the corner. Um, yeah, and for a lot of you, it's going to be some type of contract or commitment. I don't know why I got contract with that. So um, I don't know if it's like a collaboration, a work collaboration, new job, new romance. Um, it could be many different things, but you are going to be so happy when this energy comes in. I love it. Love it for you, Aquarius. All right. Let's get into love. Let's see what's going on for our Aquarius people out there. What's happening with Aquarius in love right now? Show me the cards that I need to see. Let's see here. What's going on for Aquarius in love right now? What do they need to know? What's going on? Woo, we have the nine of cups, wish fulfillment. I feel like this is you guys. I feel like you guys are good. I feel like you've been through it, but that's another thing about you guys maintaining your boundaries because it's like now you know what it is that you want and who it is that you want, right? And you know who it is that you don't want. Okay, Aquarius, more energy for Aquarius. Yeah, four of swords. I feel like you guys have been taking this time to heal. I feel like you're not rushing to get into any type of commitment with anyone right now. I feel like some of you guys could be on a break from someone and not speaking to them. Eight of Wands, but here they come. <laughs> ah, they, want, they have something to say to you, Aquarius. We're going to find out what that is. Oh, Lord, they're going to try to come in sweet with the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> well, let's see what is going on with Aquarius right now. What else? Um, some of you guys, maybe you took a break from social media or you've been thinking about it. It's a lot of you guys just purifying your energy and really just um, calming your mind. I feel like lately, especially if you have an Aquarius moon like I do, I feel like it's been really hectic um, with uh, the mental space. Okay, we have the Hierophant here. Yeah, there is, some of you guys could be getting a wish fulfillment of a new career and a new like establishment um, with the Hierophant here. It could be a new contract. Um, it could be like, let's say, a government job, something that you've really been wanting. I feel is coming in for you. For some of you, you guys have somebody that wants, they want to, um, they, they want to commit to you is what I'm hearing. They want to, that's what they want. It could be dealing with a Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Well, we have all signs here pretty much now. Um, let's see. For Aquarius, what's going on for Aquarius right now? What is that that fell? Ooh, we have the world. Yeah, some of you guys are closing out a cycle um, with someone that is not even making an effort with the Four of Swords. Some of you guys are resting and you're just really focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your career. I feel like you're going to have a lot of success with the world um, here. What else is going on for Aquarius right now? Aquarius is watching this video. Um, some of you guys could have been traveling or you will be traveling. What else is going on for Aquarius? Woo, we have the five of wands. <laughs> what is going on? 
I feel like you guys have a lot of eyes on you. I really do. I feel like for some of you guys, you're in the spotlight somehow. I feel like you need to know that um, if there's anyone that's trying to, um, you know, wish negativity on you or that's not necessarily in your corner, you're protected. They're not going to be able to prevail in whatever it is that they're trying to do. Um, cause for some of you, I'm really getting that you could have like a following or you could be in the public eye, or there could be something that you do for work that really, um, draws a lot of attention. Um, and for some of you, it's just the fact of your energy that draws a lot of people in and it makes people jealous for no reason. Okay. Um, you guys could have someone at a distance that is wanting a commitment with you as well. And they are worried that you're talking to somebody else. That's on a side note. We have Ace of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. This is beautiful. So this is someone wanting a stable commitment with you. This could also be, um, like I said, that new job, that new career, so wish fulfillment, something coming in that you really wanted. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify. We're going to clarify this Nine of Cups, please, for Aquarius. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of... Ooh, we got the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there's blessings coming in after a time period of just feeling exhausted. I feel like a love situation had you exhausted too. I feel like you had multiple things just pulling on your energy. Some of you I'm hearing family had you exhausted. Let's go ahead and clarify this Hierophant. Where is, why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here for Aquarius? Look at that. We got the Six of Swords in reverse. Woo, so some of you guys, maybe you had a Taurus you couldn't let go. Maybe you had a Gemini you couldn't let go. Um, another Aquarius. I don't know. There was something that you couldn't let go of and they couldn't let go of you. They want to make their way back around with the Six of, of Swords in reverse. They are feeling themselves. <laughs> I'm feeling myself, right? With the Six of Wands. I can't. Leo energy, this person, they just feel, some of you, they just feel like, um, when they come back, you're going to be there and they might, uh, uh, you might have news for them. That might not be the case, right? <laughs> Let's clarify this four of swords. This four of swords for Aquarius. Why is the four of swords here? We have the eight of swords in reverse. Yeah. You guys are done with being feeling stuck in any type of situation or anything that's keeping you stagnant. You're trying to move out of that energy. And I feel like this person had you stuck in an energy of not knowing what to expect, right? Okay. Yeah. They love you with the two of cups, but they had options with the seven of cups. So they were just confused or they left you confused, wondering if they even cared when the whole time with the two of cups, there's mutual feelings there, right? Let's clarify this world card. Yeah, that's too many games, right? We don't have time for that. Life's too short for all those games. Let's clarify the world. Why is the world here? Yeah, some of you, they just love admiring your body, though. They really like your body. Of course, they like your mind, too, because you're an Aquarius. But, I mean, your body, they find that on point. <laughs> Let's clarify the world for Aquarius. Why is that here? Oh, this is serious. Oh, no. Yeah, the devil card not the devil card and the ace of cups listen someone wants a new cycle with you we got capricorn energy here i mean this person is obsessed they are they are i don't know like keeping an eye on you some of you they are driving past your house i'm hearing crazy stuff i'm hearing like this person is trying to look and see who your friends are online they're trying to get information about you this person they are they're in love with you with the ace of cups they they want this with you but i feel like with this world card here some of you guys are like nope i'm ready for new i'm ready to close out this cycle because for some of you you found out this person was already committed somewhere else and you were like nope don't got time for that Let's clarify the eight. Let's clarify the eight of wands. Oh my gosh, Aquarius! If you're liking this video so far, please hit the the like button for me. It'll help more people to see it. We have the six of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Oh, so now. Now they want to try to give to you. But with that six of pentacles, they could have been breadcrumbing you and still giving to somebody else. With the queen of pentacles, they could have had like a child's mother involved. They could have had, um, or a child's father, depending on who's watching. You know, this person could have, 
the Queen of Pentacles, it could have been like a business or an establishment too here with the Hierophant that they were giving most of their time to. There was some type of energy of where they left you waiting. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So Ten of Pentacles, it's like, it's a commitment. It's a contract. So for some of you, they have a whole nother commitment going on. And I'm just going to put it out there. For others of you, now they're ready to give to you because they see you as, you know, wife or husband material and they want this long commitment with you so take it as it resonates but let's go ahead and clarify this five of wands i wish these cards would stop flying all over the place okay i don't even know what direction that went in Ooh. <laughs> we have the death card in the page of swords listen can i get this to focus here Y'all, y'all, you guys need to see, y'all need to see her get up on this death card though. Why they got her dressed like this on this death card? <laughs> That's all I got to say. And look, at, I'm telling you, this person is watching you with this page of swords. Look at how close he is looking at her shape. This is insane. This is, you know what? They're doing too much with this deck. Yeah, this person, I'm telling you, if they even feel like you've been talking to someone else, they are not here for it. We have a Scorpio. We have, look, look he's watching the couple in the back. I'm telling you, they could be watching you right now. They could want, they want something to change with this death card. Some of you guys are just done with this death card, but they're still watching. Yeah, Ace of Swords, they are waiting to communicate. <laughs> they are waiting to communicate with you. Um, some of you guys, they could be into like lingerie. They love if you wear lingerie or you could be into like bondage and tying, <laughs> tying each other up. That's what I'm seeing on this card. That's a side note. But I feel like with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands and all these, I mean, why did I say Ace of Wands? Yeah, this person wants to get a hold of you. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords is what we've seen so far. I feel this person wants to come in to communicate. So it's going to be up to you what you do, Aquarius. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.